Hey, it's Sunday, which means it's time to break down another really crazy wild week in news. Rapid fire style for this. Let's welcome in the Common Sense Cowboy commentator Patrick Dornson. Pat, welcome back. Good morning, Carl. How are you? Well, I am doing pretty fine. Just first up, though, Biden's soul of the nation address, instead of using the prime time like every other president to, you know, breed unity, he used it to vilify Republicans, like 50 percent of the country, anyone who doesn't support him, basically. What do you get from this red doom? Well, first of all, uh, everybody's asking who designed the set, and I think I figured out who did. That was Hunter Biden after a couple of hits on his crack pipe, because that was pure political pornography. Joe Biden looked like the greeter at the gates of hell. Um, now, as far as the speech itself, you know, it, again, the attack was unprecedented. It sounded like something Joseph Stalin would have given when he was running the Soviet Union, so I guess the speech sounded better in the original Russian. Republicans have got to understand, when, and I said it before last week, when the Democrats get cornered, they, they're like a, a, a rabid dog. They get cornered and they get nasty. And so that's what you got to do is understand what you're up against. And if they don't, they're going to have real problems. Yeah. So the full midterms, though, on the backs of this, I mean, this is everybody's talking about this now. Once looked like, I mean, it was like a 50 seat tsunami coming into the House. Now it's not looking as likely based on the polling. But then again, polls haven't always been right. Well, you know, when I was in politics for a long time, a guy told me one said, never read a poll in August because it doesn't mean anything. But Kevin McCarthy should not be measuring the drapes yet for the speaker's office. You know, before Biden spoke, he gave a speech in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, and he talked about the electric cord of liberty. I have no idea what he's talking about. But, you know, they don't seem to have a cohesive message. Now, they say they're going to come up with one, but they keep saying that. They want to talk about, you know, who we're going to investigate and what we're going to do when we get in power. Yeah. Here's the deal. Inflation, crime, border. Inflation, crime, border. Now, they got clubbed on the head by Joe Biden the other day. And my advice to them is, are you going to cowboy up or are you just going to lay there and bleed? Get up and get to work. Yeah, well, this was the same thing in the midterms on Obama's first term when they were like, hey, look, they passed a, a repeal to Obamacare, I don't know, like 67 times. And then the right. second Trump came into office, they didn't have a single plan to address it and they didn't vote on it. It was like, Republicans, just do the things you say you're going to do. I love your three stances there. NASA, okay, these Artemis, now two times bust, the rocket leaking hydrogen fuel. I mean, is this just basically par for the course when the government runs stuff? I, what do you think? Well, two things. First of all, we can't even launch a rocket anymore. Uh, you know, I remember, I'm old enough to remember when we went to the moon with the sheer guts of our astronauts and a bunch of visionary engineers with pocket protectors and slide rules. And, you know, now we can't even get a rocket off the ground. We're more concerned if the mannequins inside this space vehicle are women mannequins or man mannequins. Once again, we've taken woke to NASA. But we can't even do the basics. Look at Jackson, Mississippi. The water system is a mess, and it just didn't happen because of a flood. It's been a mess for years. We got a bunch of experts in this country, but nobody seems to have any expertise. So we've got to figure out how to do the little things as well as the basics and as well as the big things. I like that. A bunch of experts with no expertise. It, did they really argue about the gender of the mannequins, Pat? Really? Yeah. Yeah, this is whole woke. We're going to put the first woman on the moon. We're going to put the first person of color. Hell, I got a great idea. Let's put the best American back there. I don't care what their gender is. I don't care what their color is. But if we're going to play this game in everything, it's ridiculous. You know, in Jackson, Mississippi, they say, well, the water system's bad. Well, it's systemic, systemic racism. Are you kidding me? You can't deliver water. And now they're worried because <laughs> if they put too much pressure in the pipes, the pipes are going to burst because the pipes are old. There's a lot of stuff that's old in this country. And we got politicians in the municipal level and at the state level. And you know what they've been doing all these years? What do they do? They pass laws on wokeness. They pass laws. They want to be a sanctuary city, you know, or a sanctuary state for abortion like California. Why don't you just do the basics, make sure the electricity gets to the people, make sure the roads uh, don't have potholes, and clean up the people 
that are hanging out on the street doing nothing but taking drugs. Yeah, well, that's interesting. You know, in your former home state of California, they can't, like you said, can't power the darn electric grid, but they're passing laws that doesn't allow you to shoot a whale from your car. They really got the priorities flattened out here. Patrick, uh, any message to, uh, to people going into the holiday? Well, just enjoy yourself, uh, stay safe, and remember that it's going to be hot out there in lots of parts of the country, so hydrate. I was really hoping you were going to remind people not to do anything stupid because the judges don't get in until Tuesday.